Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a Pisces general timeless reading um, for this weekend's marathon. So let's see, grab your coffee, your tea, let's hang out, sit down and listen to what the universe has to say through the cards. I hope you're all doing amazing. I also hope that the Pisces season energy is starting to be felt in the best way. I invite you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and if it resonates with you. All right. Spirit, universe, what are the ideal messages that Pisces would benefit of receiving today? Confirmations, guidance, advice, predictions. Please bring in everything accurately in the best way possible. Alright, first card is showing up. We got here the Ten of Wands, Pisces. There could be um, a lot of things on your mind right now. You could be going through a moment in your life that feels rather busy. Um, you could have a lot on your plate. You could be dealing with a lot of responsibilities, dealing with a lot of messages, changes, to-do lists, commitments. You know, you name it, it's somewhere. <laughs> somewhere around you and you know you could feel burdened you could feel exhausted you could feel like it's a bit too much but at the same time pisces i do feel like you have a method for it it seems i don't know why in this illustration i'm getting i'm particularly looking at how this beautiful unicorn is wrapping up all these wands and you know i I just see it doing it in such a way <clears throat> that will allow this unicorn to carry more than the average unicorn, if that makes sense. <laughs> and that's kind of what I'm picking up here, that even though you have what seems like too much on your plate, it seems like you're dealing with it all right. Or that you will find a method, that you will find a way to not be not only be able to do it all but to do it all well and to not feel burdened by it maybe right now you are burdened but i feel like that is going to change however i don't feel necessarily like there's going to be less things to deal with it almost seems like you like your life quite busy pisces some of you as soon as you start um, feeling a little bit more relaxed as soon as maybe you don't have that many responsibilities. It's like you fill that space with other responsibilities or other projects or other creative things. Some of you really like to be busy. Some of you just like it that way and that's fine. It's actually great, you know. It seems Pisces that you are not afraid of hard work and that you are finding ways to work smarter and not harder. In the challenge position, we have the death card here. Some of you could be having issues with a Scorpio. It is a possibility. Some of you are going through a lot of changes and these transformations and these movements can be a bit much, okay? Not from the standpoint of things to do or things on your plate, but more from an emotional kind of point of view. like. You may be changing and shifting to this new version of you. Your life could be changing into a new version of itself. And I do feel like it's a bit, um, I would say, destabilizing for some of you on an emotional level. Some of you could be dealing with grief. And grief does not have to come only from the love, the loss of a loved one or anything like that. Grief is the reaction that we have, I feel, to anything that is gone, you know, whether it is a habit, even if it's a bad one, even if it's something that does not serve us, is basically just 
something that is put to rest, something that is released, will always, I feel, have this kind of like bittersweet energy to it. And you, some of you could be dealing with that. I'm reading cards upright, by the way, and I have some weird-ass allergies, so you may, you know, notice. Um, in the recent past, you have the Nine of Cups. You have achieved something that is superhuman, is what I heard. You have achieved something that is superhuman. You have achieved something that you're very proud of, that others can be very impressed about. You may recently have been, you know, celebrating. I feel like some of you had perhaps a long-term goal that was represented by a lot of phases or stages and milestones like okay first i would need to achieve this and then this and then this and then you know the full picture is going to be um conquered or whatever and i feel like many of you did you place one foot after the other one feet after the other whatever and you got to where you intend to go and it seems to be very impressive okay there's people around you who are very impressed by you. But the most important thing is that you seem to be very proud of yourself. And that's what I like the most about this card. In the present moment, you are showing up here. The energy showing up here is the temperance card. So it seems like you are maintaining your balance. It seems like you're doing your best to be patient, finding ways to make what could be really difficult easier. You are... I'm getting this reference why I haven't heard this phrase in a really long time. Like cards haven't really um, pointed me into these concepts in a while. And it's that quote that says, um, what is it? A, a calm sea never made a skilled sailor. And I feel like you have been doing something here that has been a stretch for some of you. It has put you out of your comfort zone. It has required all of you. And I feel like the universe is almost saying a calm sea never makes a skilled sailor. And you were not intended to go through whatever you're going through in a calm sea. sea. You know, you were meant to become a skilled sailor. And I feel like many of you are, based on what you have been dealing with and what you have conquered. Now we got here Eight of Swords in the near future. Some of you are perhaps a bit fearful of change. Some of you could be feeling a little bit fearful on how to proceed about certain things. You may feel like you don't have what it takes you may feel a little bit intimidated. Um, you may feel like perhaps there's a lot of options, but what if something were to go wrong? What if, what if, what if? And a lot of fears, okay? So that's what's showing up here. It seems like on a main energy, you are retaining your balance. But inside your mind, there seems to be a lot going on and a lot of possibilities almost being rejected by fear or out of fear. Then we have in the near future as well, um, the three of pentacles, so teamwork. There is going to be people here that are going to be showing up for you. There are going to be ways in which the universe will support you through other people. You will be assisted, you will have everything that you need, especially if you feel like intimidated by something new. What I'm hearing is... Again, a calm sea doesn't make a skilled sailor, so it's like, don't expect the sea to be calm before embarking on a journey. Just trust that you and your sailors <laughs> are very skilled. And if you're not that skilled, you will become skilled in the process. So teamwork goes a long way in the near future for you. Assistance, help, and support. You're being represented yourself as the king of swords. So you're being very strategic. I do feel like you are holding certain thoughts and beliefs in ways that could harm you. See how this unicorn is sustaining this, holding this um, sword, but it's not holding it from the handle. It's actually biting on the blade. 
and that could definitely be hurting. And you know, swords are representative of thoughts, and I mean, mainly thoughts. So you may be holding on to thoughts in such a way that could cut you, that could affect you, that could be harmful to you. However, the King of Swords is very analytical, is very smart, you know, intelligent, grounded, level-headed, strategic, responsible. So you're thinking about things in a rather realistic way. Maybe you're trying to avoid any kind of, you know, mistake that could harm you more than the fear that you're holding. So some of you could be like, okay, let's handle this from fear and evaluate it from fear and see the real risks, all of them, behind doing something. And then we can be hopeful and a little bit more, you know, mm, attuned to the actual positive possibilities. But it seems like you're handling something from almost the worst case scenario, all the thoughts of a worst case scenario and making a decision based on that. In your environment, lots of hard work, lots of things to do, lots of things to complete, a lot of different ways to make money, a lot of different ways to um, elevate your physical realm. There could be people around you who are working really hard as well. There could be, you know, your partner, your friends, your family, they could all be very focused on work at this time. And it seems like you want to be more comfortable. It seems like you want things to just be easy. You want and you crave this calm sea, <laughs> it seems. And it's like, I I feel like you know you are a skilled sailor and you're like, cool, I'm a skilled sailor. I already proved it to myself and others. Now can I just, you know, get a vacation on a calm sea, please, universe, you know? Because the Empress is precisely that, it's ease, it's abundance and comfort and the opposite of struggle, pretty much. And it seems like you want this, but in some way there is kind of like a block to it. Maybe even that you're placing yourself. As I mentioned at the beginning of the reading, it's like when this comfort shows up, and when the space opens up, it almost seems like you fill that space with something else to be stressed about or something else to do. And you may be participating in the creation of a stressful life more than you realize. That's what I'm hearing. Maybe the universe already, already gave you some downtime, but you filled it with a lot of stress and things to do. So how are you creating this Ten of Wands, and why. You got here in the near future as well, that's the outcome too. We got the Aries, Leo, Sag energy here with the Page of Wands. I feel like you're gonna have more time to be yourself. I feel, Pisces, that you're going to be able to delegate. Maybe you're going to give people around you, a team or something like that, a whole bunch of those um, responsibilities. You know, you're starting with the Ten of Wands, see how so many cards are, so many wands are here, and you end up with the Page of Wands. I feel like you're going to be dumping nine of these wands onto a team around you, and they're going to be having to do the hard work, and you're going to be chilling, <laughs> and you're going to love it. So yeah, definitely delegating is a wonderful way um, right now to continue to achieve as much as you want to, but not, you know, handle everything yourself. With the Page of Wands, there's also space for curiosity, exploring, and doing the things that you love. Getting to know things that are just interesting to you. So I do feel like um, you're gonna have more time on your hands to do whatever you want to do with it, okay? So yes, Pisces, things are looking good. There's a lot of reasons to feel very proud of yourself. Just, you know, as a homework, I would say, evaluate what is your participation in creating a stressful life and why are you creating it, okay? I love you so much, Pisces. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Even if you have subscribed, check if you still are subscribed because YouTube is acting real weird these days. 
Also, in the description box below, you will find all of the beautiful treats that I have for you from personalized readings to online courses and all sorts of programs to help you not only tap into your connection to spirit, also develop your, you know, abilities, and if you want, also monetize on those abilities in the future. All of that training and all of that stuff is on my website. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!